Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing a quick video. I know this one's going up a little late. I've had a busy weekend. Two of my best friends got married so we were doing wedding festivities kind of all weekend. Um, but now I have a second to film today's video and I'm super excited because I saw a few of these floating around and today I'm going to be revisiting my first order and purchases from Sephora and talking about if I would still use those products, if I still do use them, and um, what I think of them now or if I like a different product better. So I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoy this video and it's kind of like a nice like little trip down memory lane because I think some things are forgotten favorites and other things we've just found um, better alternatives for in the meantime so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump in so I'm gonna be looking at my computer here kind of scrolling through all my original purchases from Sephora and I'll try to include screenshots of the main products that I talk about um, and my first purchase was in June of 2009 so that was nine years ago now and it was a Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mini Mascara so I don't know why I would get the mini of that mascara I definitely don't like that mascara that much I don't like use it so that's kind of weird and then the next two things that I bought um, were Bare Minerals. So I got the Bare Mineral Mineral Veil and their Matte Foundation. And I don't use either of those products anymore, but I do still really like their original regular like loose powder foundation. That's a great product that I definitely still have in my collection. Um, I don't know why I stopped using the matte one. I think I kind of like the original formula better, even though I have oily skin. And the Mineral Veil just always seemed like kind of like an extra like layer of powder that I didn't really need. I felt like the foundation just kind of gives a nice effect on its own. But those are kind of throwbacks. I feel like I haven't purchased like a Bare Minerals product in a long time. Okay, and then the next thing that I got was the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint in the color Charmed, which was like a bright pink. And this product I remember well. I recently decluttered this from my collection. So I don't have it here to show you because it's long gone now. But I don't know why I bought this. Like I don't like bright pink lipstick. I don't wear it that often. Like I'm more of like a neutral kind of girl. So that was kind of just a weird product. And then the next thing that comes up on my list that I bought in 2013, there was kind of like a big gap between my purchases here, was the Philosophy Purity Simple or what is it called? Purity Made Simple Cleanser. It's just this Philosophy Purity Cleanser. That was like all the rage because Jaclyn Hill talked about it on her channel. That was what she recommended as her favorite face cleanser. And I used that forever. That comes up like several times. I was scroll trying to scroll all the way down to the bottom of all my Sephora purchases. And I repurchased this like countless times, like tons of times. And I know I also bought it a couple times at Ulta and other places. So and at Sephora, but I definitely love this product. I don't know why I stopped using it. I think I just tried to transition to more like medical grade skincare, but I really did like that cleanser. It's a great, simple, just basic, easy cleanser. It didn't irritate my skin ever. I felt like it helped me keep my, cleanse, my skin clear when I was using it. I don't know. That was a great cleanser. I don't know why I stopped using it. Okay, and another lip product that I've recently decluttered from my collection is the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip cream gloss in white Russian. This is amazing. Like if you don't have one of these in your collection, you're missing out. I don't have one and I'm kind of sad about it because I've recently been using my Sarah Half lip glosses, which is what I have on today, but that is an amazing formula. It's like minty, it's cooling, it's like tingling, it's slightly plumping on the lips. It just gives a super nice glossy finish. That's what I wore like all through college. That was like my everyday lip gloss. Every time I was going out, that's what I was rocking. And I miss it. That was a great product. Like I need to repurchase it. I love that Buxom formula. Okay. And the next two things that come up that I bought in 2014 was blushes. And the first one is NARS Sin Blush. And this is this really dark, scary purple one. And I bought this because Tony Burr recommended it and it's beautiful and it does make you look tanner than you are. If you're fair, don't be scared to use this. It just makes you look kind of tan and it's just a really beautiful like berry blush. Like this is still phenomenal, I still use it. And this was the origins of my love for the Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade Plum Pop, which I also bought in 2014. And this is still my favorite everyday blush. Like I mentioned, I went to a wedding this weekend and this is my all time just holy grail blush. This is what I wore. Like if I need a trusty blush that I wanna look good, that I want to like just bring life to my face and look perfect, this is my favorite one. And now I know I've been in love with it for four years straight. So, and I've been using it. Like I use this every day for like a few years. Now I kind of switch it up quite a bit, but like there's so much left in the pan. Like the flower indent is gone, but there's still so much product in here that I'm getting my money's worth. This was only $24 too. And I'm still rocking it like on at least a weekly basis. I wear this. And then I remember buying this next product. This is the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar. And this was in the shade Hush, that's right. It was like a really nudie pink. It comes in a little squeezy tube, as you can see from the picture. 
and I just didn't like this formula. It was like a little too finicky, I don't know, and the little brush that comes with it made it kind of difficult to apply. I just didn't get on with it. I don't know, not my favorite. Okay, and a few more products. The first one is the NARS Narcissist Cheek Kit, which as you can see from the picture has all three little like products in it, a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. And I absolutely loved this. Like, I still love this, I use it. I've hit pan on the bronzer in here, which is just their regular um, NARS Laguna bronzer. And I just love it. That's the perfect little palette for travel. And it came with a brush. I forgot that this is where I got that NARS brush. I still have that and I use this also like regularly Regularly. This is like might be my favorite blush brush. It's one of my favorite blush brushes I love this little guy and it's just a cute little size. That was a great purchase I don't know if they still like do that trio, but if they do it's a great buy totally worth your money And then I bought the Tarte picture perfect duo which it looks like it has their lights camera lashes mascara and then also their um, Eyelash curler and I think it's just a mini mascara that's not my favorite and the eyelash curler I used for years but I did not like that curler you know some curlers like pinch you like you might accidentally like, pinch your cheek or your hand that one just wasn't comfortable I don't know it just wasn't for me the one I have now that I prefer this is the Surratt eyelash curler instead of being like spring loaded like that Tarte one this one you have to like use your own like strength to kind of crimp it and I just prefer this I like this a lot better and that one was like a more of an intense curve so I think it might not fit everyone's lashes perfectly and curl them. And then we have the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And I don't think I have this in my collection anymore. I think that's long gone also. It just wasn't good for me. Everything was just kind of glittery and not that impressive. Like the color payoff in this palette, I didn't love. Some people like created the most beautiful looks out of this and I loved watching tutorials with this product. I thought it was absolutely beautiful, but I would not repurchase this. It just the, the payoff just wasn't good for me. Everything was just kind of glittery and everything looked the same color. There wasn't enough differentiation between the shades to where I could create a good look. Maybe I'm just not sophisticated enough. I don't know, but wouldn't repurchase that. But I would repurchase this next one, which I know I still have in my collection. Let me look in my little drawer here. It's somewhere. Actually, it might be in the cabinet out there. But it's the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain Liquid Lipstick in the shade 01 Always Red. This is the all-time best red lipstick ever. This formula doesn't budge. It looks perfect. The color is just an absolutely perfect true red. I would say it kind of has the bluey undertone, which is the color red that I prefer because it makes your teeth look whiter as opposed to like an orangey or yellowy undertoned red. Those kind of make your teeth look more yellow. So I love this color. I love that formula. I've also also purchased another color in that formula and I really like it but that is just the best red lipstick of all time and it's only $14 that's if you're looking for a red lipstick that's the one to get so that's it those were some of my original Sephora purchases that I made starting in 2009 and then all the way through 2014 I kind of scrolled all the way to the bottom of my purchases list and tried to find these and I'm really surprised at what I bought because I just don't really remember buying that little makeup between 2009 and 2014 like that's a four-year stretch where I like thought that I was buying more makeup. I guess I was buying more drugstore stuff, but my addiction to Sephora grew quickly after that. But those were some really interesting products. I mentioned pretty much everything I bought in that time frame, and some of them I still have, like that Clinique blush. I did not realize I had I've had that long, and I still absolutely love it. And then a few others I wouldn't repurchase. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this style of video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, everything that I mentioned, I'll try to list in the description box down below. I also upload two days a week on Monday and Thursday, so please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss my next video and thank you so much for watching.